Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm going to do my inventory. Um, I thought it was a good way to step back in because I thought, you know, let's let's fresh slate, clean slate, whatever you want to call it. It's been a while, <laughs> a long, long while. I'm sure you're going, who is she? I don't know her. I've never seen her before. Um, if you saw my last community post, or maybe you haven't, or maybe you haven't seen any previous videos. I've moved back to Limerick in with my mom to help her out because she had been ill. She's thriving now, absolutely thriving. And um, we also bought a camper van. So we've done a lot of traveling with the camper van and we have loved it. The weather has been appalling, appalling in Ireland. But we can't really complain because the rest of Europe, God love it, is on fire as is some of America. It's just, the world is, excuse my language, the world is fucked. Anywho, I decided, you know what, I really want to get back into this. Um, I've missed it, I've missed you, I've missed doing my videos, I've missed putting on my makeup, I haven't worn that much makeup at all. Sorry if I keep looking everywhere. Bear with me. Um, plus as well, there's a lot going on outside the window, <laughs> which is distracting me, because I'm like, ooh, squirrel. So focus, Ruth, focus. Um, but yeah, how are you all doing? <laughs> I hope everyone is okay. To those of you that aren't, I hope you're feeling better soon. And I hope um, whatever flare up you're going through, whatever mental health situation you're in at the moment, I hope it passes soon for you. I know a lot of us, you know, people saying, oh, I hope you feel better soon. That's not a reality for a lot of us, unfortunately. But you know, Better than we're feeling today is a you know something we can definitely strive for um so that is my hope and my wish for you i'm doing great at the moment thank god well no mentally i'm doing very good physically hmm. uh waiting to see an orthopedic surgeon fun times a lot of pain but it's not i'm not letting it mentally break me at the moment the van is helping with that the camper van because when we go away at the weekends it just brings me so much joy i don't care if it's raining i don't care if it's snowing i don't care if the sun is splitting the rocks i still enjoy it immensely so anywho let's do this shall we okay so i'm recording on my phone front facing because otherwise i don't know what's going on if i look straight on i'm not looking at you if i look at the camera i'm looking at you but i can't see what's going on so that's why i'm going Please forgive me. And I have even put something, oh, do you know, next to the camera, say, this is where you should look, Ruth. But it still can't. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyhow, I will have pictures on the screen, hopefully, of all these categories. Now, bear in mind, because I moved, I decluttered a lot. And first of all, to anyone who ever sent me anything, I don't think you understand how much it means to me. And I hope you won't be annoyed or offended if I passed it on so I would have maybe got to try it something that might never have been able to try before and I got to try it and I'm so incredibly grateful for that but I have way less space stored space now than I had when I lived in Galway in our own house obviously we're sharing a house now we have one room that's our bedroom everything is in it and we have a sitting room that's it so uh, space is a premium, so I've had to really condense down. So my numbers have definitely decreased. I'm not going to compare to previous inventories because I feel like it's not realistic, if that makes sense, because it's, it's an extenuating circumstance. I mean, if I was still living in Galway, I wouldn't have decluttered a fraction of what I did. I hope that makes sense. Anyhow, crack on, Ruth. Stop nattering. So going down along i've got my mass spreadsheet here so first up are primers and i currently have eight primers uh foundations i currently have 10 foundation adjusters i have two concealers i have three correctors i have three face powders i used to have this broken up before into like pressed loosed loosed <laughs> loose and then pressed finishing and loose finishing powders i've condensed it all down to one now so my face powders in total are seven uh cream highlighters i have five powder highlighters i have 13 uh cream bronzers i have six powder bronzers i have 10 
Uh, cream blush, I have 14. Uh, powder blush, I have 13. Face palettes, I have seven. Eye primers, I have six. It says here, but I think that, oh no, no, that's probably right. You, you'll see on screen, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Eyeliners, I have 19. Mm. Uh, single pot eyeshadows, I have three. Liquid eyeshadows, I have three. Cream eyeshadow, I have five. Eyeshadow sticks, I have three. Eyeshadow palettes. In total at the moment, I have 36. I do have, I think, four more coming into my collection. Um, I ordered three from Alter Ego because they're Natasha Denona dupes and I want to try them out and I can't afford Natasha Denona at the moment. And the other one is from Glass Gods uh, because between um, Louise and... Who else? Louise and, oh, Gabriella Francis um, and how much they love glass gods. I was like, oh, I gotta try it. But you will see from my collection, I have cut down an awful lot on colorful eyeshadow palettes. And the reason for that is my makeup wearing is very different now. And because I'm out and about a lot more and I'm out and about with my mom and stuff, I just, I'm going for quick, easy looks. I'm going for neutral looks, easy looks. Um, and I'm just not, having the time nor the inclination at the moment for colorful looks. I have kept a couple just so that I can dip in and you know what I mean, enjoy it still. But I had so many of them and they were just, they took, obviously palettes take up the most space in your collection. I had to cut down, I just had to. And I didn't want them sitting in drawers going bad because that would break my heart. So I've sent them on to other people who adore colorful eyeshadow and are excited to get them and play with them. Um, but yeah, that's eyeshadow palettes. Uh, mascaras, I have four. Uh, brow pencils, I have three. Brow gels, I have three. I no longer have any brow pomades or brow powders. They are gone from my collection. Uh, lip liners, I have 10. Lipsticks, I have 13. Lip gloss, I have 13. And setting sprays, I have five. And that is my makeup collection at the moment. Now, going forward, what do I want to do? Well, I am going to have one Project Pan Relay um, on the go. I'm only going to probably get maybe one video a week up because I just can't foresee me getting more than that up. Just time isn't on my side. I don't have a lot of free time, shall we say. Um, so I... Uh, I think I'm only going to do the one project pan because as well, I'm not wearing as much makeup. So just not feasible. Anyhow, that's not the purpose of this conversation. What I'm doing, I have a max amount for each collection, each category. So for example, primers, I currently have eight. My max is 12. So that means I have, um, I'm below my goal limit for primers. So that means one, I can buy a primer if I want to, and it also means I don't need to pan one to completion. Um, but for an example of another category, powder highlighters, let's say. So again, my max in that is 12, and I have 13 in my collection. So that means one, I have a no buy for powder highlighters, and two, I need to work on panning my powder highlighters so the what i'm planning to do is have a project pan i'm thinking nine by new year's maybe because there will be nine products and i want to have them done before the end of the year and it's like a no buy project pan like uh dora from fuchsia soul is doing i love that that project pan that she's doing at the moment uh where her project pan focuses in mainly on her no buy categories and i know other people do that too fully aware of that uh, but doors is the one that I'm kind of really invested in at the moment um, so yeah that's that's my goal and my plans shall we say for project planning um, other videos then I was thinking because like if I have one a week I was thinking maybe a Friday let me know what you think feedback feedback please um, so a project plan uh, I shot my stash because the other categories that I have plenty you know what I mean that I that I'm not doing a no buy in and that I'm not 
look in Japan, I want to rotate and I really want to rotate as in the whole reason that I said 12 in a category is because that means at least once a month I'm rotating in a different product. Does that make sense? So over 12 means I'm not, I'm, there's a month where I'm not getting to rotate something in and it's not getting used or touched or whatever. I know all this. You're just going, yeah, yeah, obviously, Ralph. Yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, don't over explain it. Um, no, wrong finger. Um, so, yeah, so that's the plan for that. So that's Project Pan. Shop my stash would be for the other categories that aren't being project panned. Um, or maybe I'll just do it for all categories so that the one, the pro the sections that I'm project panning aren't being neglected. I don't know. We'll see. So project pan, um, shop my stash. Maybe a palette review. So like within the shop my stash, I would hope to have three to four palettes a month out and using and maybe at the end of the month I could review those palettes specifically what do you think let me know um and then I'm thinking maybe decade panning I don't think pan those eyeshadows at the moment are project level up because um I'm just not there at the moment I'm not using eyeshadow enough to to feel like I can properly do those projects maybe next year who knows but at the moment I just don't see it working um so give me some feedback what do you think what would you like to see or maybe you're not even watching <laughs> maybe I'm talking to nobody and sure look at it that's the case that's fine too um but yeah that's it for this video bit rambling first time recording I'm all over the place I'm not gonna lie um but I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll chat you in the next one Take care. Bye. Slon.